Here are the basics of keeping a freshwater aquarium by Carl Strohmeyer, 40 years plus professional experience. Okay, let's talk about the four types of filtration and how to care for these types of filtration. Biological, the removal of nitrogenous waste such as ammonia, which is the most important type. Care, rinse in dechlorinated water or use aquarium water every two to six weeks depending on flow through the media. Change only when the media can no longer be rendered reasonably clean. A common mistake with a basic aquarium setup is the use of a simple cartridge only filter which is thrown away the cartridge during the maintenance routine unfortunately this is the only sole filter every time the filter cartridge is thrown away the majority of the essential aerobic autotrophic nitrifying bacteria is thrown away also better is to have a seated filter cartridge for at least two weeks near the filter intake or exhaust and then to use this as a replacement much better is to either have a sponge filter on your filter intake which will preserve the beneficial bacteria or have a second or even the primary filter that is a standalone sponge filter. With either of these sponge filters, rinse and dechlorinated water will preserve your biofiltration colonies. Mechanical, the removal of large detritus, organics or inorganic, before it can go through the nitrogen cycle. Organic, by means of filter fiber, sponges or similar media. Care, Change or rinse every two to six weeks depending on condition of the filter media, how fast it clogs, etc. Chemical filtration. The removal of chemical contaminants via carbon, zeolite, or other product. This becomes less important in a healthy established aquarium. Carbon is often overused in a healthy, well-established aquarium. If we ever use carbon, we generally use it at one teaspoon per five to 10 gallons. We recommend adding more or change it out more often if the tank is being treated with a medication or is a new aquarium. Carbon is often not 100% necessary in established aquariums, especially tanks with regular water changes and plants. We generally use carbon to remove chemicals after treatment, then remove the carbon. You can also leave in old carbon to become a nitrifying bacterial colony. This point about carbon also leads credibility to sponge filters which are often considered poor filters due to the fact that they provide no chemical filtration. This is based on poor information as to the need of carbon filtration. Care. Change the carbon every four to six weeks depending upon water parameters. Carbon is used to improve. Carbon may need to be changed or refreshed after each treatment with a medication. Germicidal filtration. The use of UVC or ozone to kill disease pathogens and control the redox potential, although the ozone generators do not improve redox balance. Care. Change your UV bulb every six months. For further information, see our in-depth article. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this video about the four types of filtration and how to care for them. If you have any questions, please ask. Leave a comment below about what type of filtration you guys actually use. If you found this information helpful, please like, subscribe, share. It does go a long way in supporting the channel. We'll talk to you next time.